Afternoon guys. So I've just been cleaning Moby out. All oh, fresh and clean. And and oh my gosh. This is Moby. Back to how it was when I bought it, well, apart from the bed and the cupboard and all the extra space. Uh, yep, so if you've not gathered, Moby is going today. I've lost a shitload of money on this van, but whatever, there's not a lot I can do about that now. Um, and I'm getting something else, which will be arriving very, very shortly. So... It's kind of a mixed feeling day because I drove it for the last time earlier and uh, I can't get my stickers, which I'm good about because they'll be no good. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a sad day really because I had I hope some will be and... Uh, it's just not panned out, has it, guys? It's just not panned out. And I wanted to get something smaller, and I've ended up getting something bigger. But what the heck? You know, I can't really... I can't really do much else, because I'm running out of time, so I had to get this other one. Oh, shit, I didn't clean it back down. <laughs> ah! Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> I'm throwing water out now. So, yeah, so this is my mate's. Where I've spent the last two days emptying Moby and cleaning Moby. And uh, I was going to take it to a car wash and do it outside, but I don't have time now. He's going to be here in about half an hour with my new van. Guys, say bye bye to Moby's. <laughs> Moby's leaving. <sighs> Just had a cuddle with Moby. <laughs> the guy thought I was funny. <laughs> right. Bye, Moby. I'm a bit upset. <laughs> going that way? I have no idea. So, this is my new one, and this is my beautiful friend Caroline. <laughs> Thank you so much, Caroline, for I all your help this weekend. I want to fetch you home out a bit. I and like that. Put it over this way. Bitch mode on. That's been me all fucking day. <laughs> so, uh, try to get outside. Yeah, so this is my new one. Got a reversing camera. Uh, hang on, this is not shut. What are you doing? So I've got a visitor. Hi. What's the matter? <clears throat> got a visitor in my new van. So this is my new motorhome, guys. Dig the curtains. <laughs> I'll be getting changed. Um, it's a bit of a mess at my neck, so I've still got to find where to put everything. This is where I slept last night. A nightmare. What? I ain't got any cat food. I'll give you dog biscuits, you don't want them. So, it seems I bought another fucking lemon, guys. Which is... Found a fucking pair for me. It's not... Gas is not working, even though he showed me gas working. Can't figure out how to get gas working. But it does work, because he did show me it working. Um, and the fridge don't work. And that's because the gas don't work. And the tank, I can't find the stop tap for the tank, so I've got no water. <laughs> I'm sure it's an easy fix. Hopefully I ain't got a hole in the tank. But um, I'm absolutely exhausted, guys. Uh, two days of trying to open this door. <laughs> there we go, I twisted it wrong way. So it's cupboard space and stuff. There's a table there. Uh, slip mats and stuff. Not sure what that is. Control system thing, whatever it is. Heat and stuff. 
Oh, I see. That might be for the hot water, will it? I'm guessing. No idea what all this lot is. Oh, it's got loose wires. I'm not sure what that is. If anybody knows. Anybody's got a Contiki. Let me know. Oh, wow, there. Wow. wow, wow. I know, kitty cat. But I ain't got any cat food. And cats aren't supposed to eat dog food, are they? Hey, I'm going to go feed my two now. I ain't got anything. I've got cat dog food, but it's not good for kitty cats. I know. You're going to have to come out now because I've got to go feed my bubbies. And then I've got to go on my speed awareness course. Wow. Fucking great. <laughs> anyway, massive thanks. I can't thank Caroline and Phil uh, and Lisa enough and Luke um, for helping out. There's no solar panel on it. They told me there was and there isn't. So we've taken one of Moby's solar panels off, but it's too big. So I need to get a solar panel. I'll just sell my one because it's massive. It's three, 350 watt. Um, loads of storage space. Loads of storage space. But I'm not sure I'm going to fit everything of mine in. Uh, yeah, oh, it's, it's not for you. Well, my drums are going to have to get attached onto this door. Um... Ah, oh, it's not for you. Go on out now. Go on. Go on out, missus. Go on. Wah, wah, wah. So, I've got to go on my speed awareness course. And when I get back, I've got to try and get everything into this van. No, I'm going to put that down. You're going to eat the meat out of it, aren't you? This is my mate's van. <laughs> nice. Morning, guys. It's been a while, eh? Let's just say it's been a very crazy couple of weeks. Um, you might be able to tell. I ain't in Moby. Moby's gone. It was a sad day. It was actually a sad day. I was quite upset to see him go. Um, but Pat asked him for a motorhome. I you know, bought another lemon. <laughs> It's just part of the course for me, isn't it? You know, if I didn't have freaking bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. Is a saying, isn't it? Although I'm not really meant to say that. I have wonderful good luck. <laughs> good luck follows me wherever I go. These are my mantras. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> I would show you around it, but it's an absolute dump. So I was staying at a friend's uh, on her drive while I got everything offloaded off Moby and then uploaded into this and because I had to leave um because I've been there I don't know four days five days uh, and I had to leave because she's going away I needed to sort her camper van out and I was using her hookup and everything so I just threw everything in I have no idea where anything is I've lost my work keys <laughs> I went to work last night. Can't find the freaking keys. I don't tell them. I've not been in this week. Well, I went in Sunday, but I've not been in Tuesday, and I was supposed to go in last night. And <sighs> they'll turn up. I'm sure we'll turn up. Anyway, um, yeah, this has got issues. I've got no electric. I've got no. Gas and I've got no water. <laughs> we broke one of the cupboards yesterday, the outside cupboard, so we've had to gaffer tape that down. <laughs> oh, God. oh my god. The gear stick don't work properly, or maybe it's just me, but it took me about 10 minutes to get it in reverse last night. <laughs> Oh, and the clutch is really high. So I'm going to take it to my mechanic. Hopefully he'll look at the clutch and tell me it just needs adjusting and don't need a new clutch because that'll be another grand. And then hopefully he'll be able to fix that locker. <laughs> oh my God. But next to the lacquer, there's like a wooden 
it's like a wooden panel I know that's rotted so I don't know how I'm going to get that fixed might be better just plating it I think I'll speak to my mechanic see what he says he's going to go ballistic he's going to go absolutely ballistic with me <laughs> he is you're born of a lemon ah! well the one I wanted was from a motorhome place and it was like a grand more than what I could afford anyway and uh, and you don't know about this but anyway I've had, I've had some money that came to me that I've been waiting for for a long time got ripped off with that as well it's just a constant theme in my life getting ripped off um, and uh, went away back time because of the mess around with that I should have got it in January, February time uh, which is why if you go back to my new year's thing you will have said that there's all those exciting things coming blah 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 yeah it's taken this long um, and it had gone the one I wanted had gone and it was from a an actual dealer so it came warranty and hab check and all that stuff it had been great <clears throat> it was still 20 year old same as Moby but I only had six six thousand miles on clock. This has got ninety four, I think, on it, and it's nineteen year old. It's not much younger than Moby was. Except it's MOT till September though, so I've got till September to sort all these issues out that need sorting. Pay back the money that I borrowed from my friend last year. Uh, end of last year I'm still back at square one basically because I'm probably going to spend more than that getting this thing sorted now thing with the gas and the water he showed me the gas and water working so it's it's probably us not doing something we don't know what we're doing there's no solar on it I took one panel off Moby I forgot to take the freaking inverter and everything out like a div because everything was just manic 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 and my back's broken lugging everything in and out but same when i got moby my back's just not up to doing all this stuff the water we don't we can't find the tap that shuts the water tank off so when we put water in it just were peeing out everywhere so i'm hoping it's not cracked and it's just the levers open because they do that don't they in water home so the water don't freeze and don't go off in the tank so the guy I bought it off, bless him, said, well, if, you come, if you're anywhere near Derby, come down and I'll show you show you where everything is. But I'm not going to drive all the way to Derby again just to show me where everything is. So I've contacted, a, well, I put a post in Van Life UK and in the Shark YouTubers and I messaged, I think it's called Simon. <sighs> from something Kantiki, I can't remember his name. Anyway, he's but he's not seen my message, so it's just a bloody mess right now. Uh, it has got a um, split charger thing, so, oh yeah, the leisure battery didn't work, so my friend Caroline gave me their spare leisure battery. It's looking like the main battery might not be working very well either. Either that or the controller that tells you what everything doing is not working properly. It's tends to start first time though, so um, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's it's uh, <laughs> man. Anyway, once I get it all cleaned out, and I'm just gonna take the bloody weeks because I've <laughs> every cupboard's packed and I've got two and a half massive boxes full of stuff up at my friends in Keithley. Feck knows where that's gonna go. Um, I've had to get rid of a lot of stuff. Bin line, three bin liners full of stuff I think I threw away. Um, food, I gave a lot of food away because I had so many tins of food. Um, I've still got shitloads of tins of food but uh, thank god I've got my camping stove at least I can uh, have a brew and 
and do one pot meals on that until we get all this sorted out. Um, Greg came over yesterday and fitted me some stuff that needed hanging up. Uh, my drums and a couple of shelves and stuff that needed hanging. So he did that for me yesterday and tried to figure out the gas and he couldn't figure out the gas. Um, we think he found the manual for this online and we think the tap is under my bed for the water tank. Uh, my back's not up to lugging all that out today. I'm in agony today. Um, but I've got a new motor up. <laughs> and as much as it need, has got repairs need doing to it, and I did pay a shitload of money for it, more than what I should have done, I think. But anyway, whatever. Um, Moby Warren is last, really. I can't put any more money into Moby. Plus, his MOT is due in like three weeks. No, four weeks. Four weeks. And it was going to cost thousands to fix it, the, the rust underneath. Uh, and it just wasn't worth it. You know, the engine had got nearly 400,000 kilometres on it. I know mechanics have said, oh, it'll go, f go forever these. It's like, I think they said it was something like two and a half thousand miles uh, rather than kilometres and they'll, they'll last for like 500 and some on these engines but it'd need cam belt doing and all that kind of stuff to make it last longer and, and all that rust underneath were just too bad so it worked just the sills so uh, somebody here um, so rather than put all that into Moby, plus I needed to reconfigure it all, it all needed redesigning inside. So what I've paid for this, I would have put into Moby. And, you know, I lost eight grand on Moby. I got two grand for it as part X, which is more than what I thought I'd have got for it anyway. Now we're just going to put it up as spares or repairs at the end of the day. So, uh, Louis, you okay? What are you doing, mate? Dogs are a bit stressed out. Louis's not so bad. He's kind of settled, but Storm's a bit stressed. You can't understand why he ain't got a seat to sit on at front now. <laughs> I stopped to, to get a pizza on way home last night because it was about nine o'clock. By the time I'd fanned around trying to find me, me work keys while I were at work. Um, and uh, oh, stuff it. I need to eat. So I got... A pizza on my home, and when, when I got back to van, he jumped on on passenger seat, squished Louie up into the back at seat. He didn't get it, so uh, I we're going to give me poof away, but I think I'm going to sit my poof in between the seats, and then the storm can sit on that and lift him up, and he can see over dash then up. <laughs> it was funny. Anyway, like I say, I've got absolutely no idea where anything is apart from my clothes. <laughs> oh man, I've got I took the little shelves out of Moby that was in the kitchen bit where I had my cups, but uh, and out of small screws. So Greg's gonna bring some small screws and put me them up to give me a little bit more storage, like put knickknacks and stuff on um, and then hopefully Joe's going to come in a couple of weeks and fit my solar panel and uh, and a what you call it and my diesel eater because it has got a Truman eater in it when well, we can get it working because apparently we need water for that <laughs> um, but it's 19 year old so I know you can get them service and all that stuff, but uh, I'd rather have a diesel eater in as well as a backup, just in case uh, that doesn't work. Um, I mean, we're not we're coming into summer now. It's not too bad. It was freezing the first couple of nights I were in here, but last night worked too bad. Um, so as long as we don't get another cold snap, 
we it should be all right but i'd rather get it fitted just in case i think i'm gonna have to get an uber or something as well because obviously there's a lot more floor space than moby had <coughs> and i could do moby just with an handbrush but i don't think i'm gonna better do this with an handbrush and it's got um, a dometic toilet or whatever they're called in it uh but I'm just going to use it as a bibbeloo. I can't be asked with all that and chemicals. I don't want chemicals. And I don't want to be using chemicals in it and stuff. Plus I can't be lugging it about and you've got to empty it in certain places and blah, blah, blah. I can't find the grey water tap either because I've just opened that because I don't want, can't be asked with emptying that sort of stuff either. Uh, so, but, so if anyone's got a Contiki, and watch as this. Can you please get in touch and tell me where to find all this stuff? <laughs> Thanks. At my favourite spot so I can let the dogs out for a run in a minute. Got another horse tied near them today. I'm going to go see Dakota who's right over there. You can't see her. She's right over there. It's got fly screens, it's got blinds, but the blinds are all mouldy. So I'm gonna have to uh don't gonna have to look at how, what to do with them because they're like paper and not like uh, plastic or anything. So I don't know if they'll clean up, they might have to be taken. Thank out. you for your patience for waiting for the next videos because it has been a, probably about a week, I don't know, when I last did the video. But um yeah, sorry if I've missed any of your videos. It's just been manic, absolutely manic this last few weeks, this last two weeks. So, like I say, I'm exhausted and I've still got to sort through everything and find proper places for it all, uh, which is going to be fun. <laughs> Why do we do this to ourselves? I've got to admit, driving Moby was so much easier than driving this. Between the gear stick and the clutch, ugh, hard work. But anyway, I'll get used to clutch and I'll get used to gear stick. That's my least of my problems right now. Right now, I really need some gas and some water. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, guys, hope you're all okay and well and... Uh, I'll see you all soon. Take care. Say bye bye, Stormy. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. He's my baby boy. He's my baby. Yes. Yes. Oops. Say bye bye. This is Louis. I know. I've got to do your feet yet, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>